Your time is now 613. Let's get back to talking about the Caldor fire. All week, all eyes have been on South Lake Tahoe and Kirkwood as we've been waiting to see what the Caldor fire would do to those locations. Mm -hmm. And earlier in the show, we showed you South Lake Tahoe. So let's continue our live coverage this morning in Kirkwood. Joshua Robinson is on the ground there. Josh, what are things like this morning? Well, Bria Walton, a lot of people have been reaching out to me on social asking me about Kirkwood. And of course, that push to keep Kirkwood safe was really strong over the past 24 hours, especially as the wind came through and whipped up the area all around us. But there's a lot of cause for optimism here this morning. And the crews that are here, they tell me that they believe that the area is not in direct threat of the fire, even though it looks pretty ominous. Take a look at this video that we took just yesterday. As we arrived in Kirkwood, we spotted the smoke overhead from miles away, rising up over the top of the mountains, much more smoky than when we were here 24 hours earlier. But once we did reach the resort, it gets pretty tough to spot much fire from the ground here at the resort. Now, that's not to say that crews haven't been working very hard to keep it safe. The incident commander, Sid Perrazzo, told me dozers spent 24 hours building trails for water trucks to drive closer to the fires and also building a perimeter around the nearby Caltrans yard and 10 historic cabins that are nearby. So a lot of preventative work being done over the past day. Also overnight, you can see how active helicopters were as well in monitoring the fire's movement with some nighttime air operations. Now we've heard them moving around overhead pretty much all night long, helping to keep Kirkwood well protected into a new morning as the fire does continue its move northeast. But as a precautionary measure, because we always want to make sure those are in place, there are 10 engines in the area ready just in case something happens. Five of them are from Los Angeles, five from San Mateo. And when I asked Perrazzo what that uh, precaution also means, he says, if those 10 engines aren't enough, one quick call and about 50 engines could be here within the hour just to make sure they get things under control.